cover-ups of UFO, allegations of evidence suppression. We all know about the conspiracies of Area 51. But there are several real incidents happened in history to cover up the sightings on unidentifiable things. Maybe UFOs or aliens. Let's uncover the truths about Area 51 and the cover-ups made. 1. On July 7, 1947, William Rhodes photographed an unusual object over Phoenix, Arizona. The photos appeared in a Phoenix newspaper and a few other papers. An Army Air Force intelligence officer and an FBI agent interviewed Rhodes on August 29 and convinced him to surrender the negatives, which he did the next day. He was informed he would not get them back, but later he tried, unsuccessfully, to retrieve them. The photos were analyzed and subsequently appeared in some classified Air Force UFO intelligence reports. 2.8 June 27, 1950, movie of a flying disc over Louisville, Kentucky, taken by a Louisville Courier Journal photographer, had the USAF directors of counterintelligence, AFOSI, and intelligence discussing in memos how to best obtain the movie and interview the photographer without revealing Air Force interest. One memo suggested the FBI be used, then precluded the FBI getting involved. Another memo said it would be nice if OC could arrange to secure a copy of the film in some covert manner, but if that was not feasible, one of the Air Force scientists might have to negotiate directly with the newspaper. In a recent interview, the photographer confirmed meeting with military intelligence and still having the film in his possession until then, but refused to say what happened to the film after that. 3. In another 1950 movie incident from Montana, Nicholas Mariana filmed some unusual aerial objects and eventually turned the film over to the U.S. Air Force, but insisted that the first part of the film, clearly showing the objects as spinning discs, had been removed when it was returned to him. 4. On January 22, 1958, when NICAP director Donald Kehoe appeared on CBS television, his statements on UFOs were censored by the Air Force. During the show when Kehoe tried to depart from the censored script to reveal something that has never been disclosed before, CBS cut the sound, later stating Kehoe was about to violate predetermined security standards and about to say something he was not authorized to release. Conspiracy theorists claimed that what Kehoe was about to reveal were four publicly unknown military studies concluding UFOs were interplanetary, including the 1948 Project Sign Estimate of the Situation and Blue Book's 1952 Engineering Analysis of UFO Motion. 5.A March 1, 1967 memo directed to all USAF divisions, from USAF Lt. Gen. Hewitt Wheelis, Assistant Vice Chief of Staff, stated that unverified information indicated that unknown individuals, impersonating USAF officers and other military personnel, had been harassing civilian UFO witnesses, warning them not to talk, and also confiscating film, referring specifically to the Heflin incident. A FOSI was to be notified if any personnel were to become aware of any other incidents. 6. According to one theory related to the assassination of President John F. Kennedy, the CIA killed Kennedy in order to prevent him from leaking information to the Soviet Union about a covert program to reverse engineer alien technology. 7. Nick Cook, an aviation investigative journalist for Jane's Information Group and researcher of Billion Dollar Secret and author of The Hunt for Zero Point claims to have uncovered documentary evidence that top-secret U.S. defense industry technology has been developed by government-backed defense industry programs, beginning in the 1940s using research conducted by Nazi scientists during World War II and recovered by Allied military intelligence. Then taken to the U.S. and developed further with the collaboration of the same former German scientists at top-secret facilities established at White Sands, New Mexico, and later at Area 51, allegedly resulting in production of real-world prototype operational supersonic craft actually tested and used in clandestine military exercises, with other developments incorporated later into spy aircraft tasked with overflying hostile countries. The UFO story that evidence of alien technology is being suppressed and removed or destroyed was generated and then promoted by the CIA, beginning 1947, as false lead disinformation to cover it all up for the sake of national security, particularly during the Cold War, at a time when, his investigations found, the Soviet Union too was developing its own top-secret high-tech UFO craft. Cook's conclusions, alleging suppression of evidence of advanced human technology instead of alien, together with what he presents as declassified top-secret documents and blueprints, and his interviews of various experts, some of doubtful reliability, was developed and broadcast as a feature documentary on British television in 2005 as UFOs, The Secret Evidence and in the US in 2006 as a two-part episode on the History Channel's UFO Files, retitled An Alien History of Planet Earth, with an added introduction by actor William Shatner. The History Channel program teaser promised to look at rumors of classified military aircraft incorporating alien technology into their designs.
In 2013, Senator Mike Gravel claimed that the government was suppressing evidence of extraterrestrials. Benjamin Radford has pointed out how unlikely such suppression of evidence is given that the UFO cover-up conspiracy would have to span decades, cross international borders, and transcend political administrations and that all of the world's governments, in perpetuity, regardless of which political party is in power and even among enemies, would have colluded to continue the cover-up.